in our 15th problem we have to find the value of cos pi by 15 into cos 2 pi by 15 into cos 3 pi by 15 up till cos of 7 pi by 15. So, in this problem first of all we can convert cos phi pi by 15 as cos of pi by 3 which is equal to half then cos of 7 pi by 15 we can write it as cos of pi minus 8 pi by 15 and we know that cos of pi minus theta is minus cos theta. So, this becomes equal to minus cos 8 pi by 15. Then we convert the angle cos 3 pi by 15 as cos of pi by phi and we know that this is 36 degrees and we know that the value of cos 36 degrees is root 5 plus 1 upon 4. Then we convert the angle cos of 6 pi by 15 as cos of 2 pi by 5. We know that this is cos of 72 degrees and cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta. Cos of 72 degrees will be equal to cos of 90 minus 18 degrees which will be equal to sin 18 degrees equal to root 5 minus 1 upon 4. Cos of 72 degrees equals cos of 90 minus 18 degrees equal to sin 18 degrees. So, basically our product gets converted into cos pi by 15 into cos 2 pi by 15 into cos 4 pi by 15 into cos minus cos 8 pi by 15 into half into root 5 minus 1 upon 4 into root 5 plus 1 upon 4. These are the three values which we found out half root 5 minus 1 upon 4 and root 5 plus 1 upon 4. Now, root 5 minus 1 into root 5 plus 1 is 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. This gets cancelled out with this. So, our product becomes 1 by 8 times cos pi by 15, cos 2 pi by 15, cos 4 pi by 15, minus sin and cos 8 pi by 15. The basic aim of converting cos of 7 pi by 15 into cos of 8 pi by 15 was to create the product form of cos theta into cos 2 theta into cos 4 theta and now into cos 8 theta. And we earlier did this series product cos theta into cos 2 theta into cos 4 theta into cos 8 theta. It was equal to 1 by 16 times sin 16 theta upon sin theta. So, our product can be written as our theta was pi by 15. So, our product can be written as minus 1 by 8 into 1 by 16 times sin of 16 theta which is 16 pi by 15 upon sin of theta which is sin pi by 15. So, this becomes equal to minus 1 by 128 times. We can write this 16 pi by 15 as pi plus pi by 15 and we know that sin of pi plus theta is minus sin theta. So, this becomes equal to minus sin of theta which is pi by 15. So, this becomes minus sin pi by 15 which will get cancelled out with sin pi by 15 in the denominator. So, this becomes equal to 1 upon 128 which is our final answer.